Hello everybody and welcome to the 11th Fundamental Investing Programming Tutorial. In the last video we were talking about how to get historical earnings data with Wayback Machine. Now you can also get historical earnings data from places like the SEC.gov website, though I wouldn't really suggest that you parse the SEC.gov website. But one of our viewers uh, pointed out this website called Quandle.com which offers free financial data and actually a whole bunch of other data as well like crime stats, all kinds of stuff. And it's a pretty epic website because not only is it does it have a pretty good supply of finance data, it doesn't necessarily, like if you really wanted the quarterly data, you would still, I don't think they have quarterly data on this website, but they've got a very solid supply of annual earnings data. And um, it's totally free and it's very accessible uh, for programming. So they've got, they've got API links. And then they've also got modules for Python and a whole bunch of other programming languages as well. For our uses here, since we're only really interested in like a specific company, um, we're just going to use their API link, but just keep in mind that they do have like modules and all this. And so you could build like a whole web app based off of them pretty much. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's got some uh, pretty high powered stuff on this website. So it's definitely a good asset to have. Let me bring over the website now. So quandle.com, and so this is like the home page. So for example, with Apple, you could type in Apple, and there's a whole bunch of stuff on here. And so one of the things that we'll be interested in is net income. So you can click on net income, and they've got it here. They've got the numbers here. And not only is this really easy to parse, but they actually have download links. So you could click this and download it yourself by hand, or you could show the API call. And so here is the API call here. You could copy and paste this into your browser and it would download. Or if you put it into Python, you can get the raw output straight from Python. Now, if you click on their API, scroll down, I think, to the bottom. Yeah, anonymous API calls are limited to 50 requests a day. Now, what we're going to be doing is per company, at least through this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys per company three requests that we're going to make. So relatively quickly, especially as you're building the program and testing it, you're going to run into that 50 requests per day possibly. So I highly suggest that you do the next best thing, and that is to sign up for a Quandle account, absolutely free, um, and immediately they give you an, uh, an auth token that you use, and you just append that to the end of your URL, and now you actually get 500 API calls per day. At that point, you're all set. You're not going to need any more than that, at least for what we're going to be doing. Obviously, if you build a web app and it becomes a fairly popular web app, then you might exceed 500 a day, but you can just contact them. They say no request is refused. They just want to know who's actually using it. So um, at least at the outset, same, they seem like very friendly people. So um, definitely a good, a good thing to use. And I'll show you as well how to append your auth token. I don't really want to show you my auth token, but I'll at least show you an example of how to append the auth token to the end of your URL um, so you get 500 API calls a day. So that's pretty epic. Now, when we're all done here, what, what this website's going to be able to do for us now is we can do everything via this program that we're making. So even though we're starting with a blank slate here to continue or to at least show you guys our function that we're going to build specifically for Quandle, when we're all done here by the end of this series now, we'll be able to not only use what we've already built with Yahoo, because we'll use Yahoo to go through the bulk of companies, right? Because we wouldn't even be able to go through uh, the, the uh, Russell 3000 without uh, hitting that 500 limit. But Yahoo's fine to parse for that reason. And so what we'll do is we'll use the Yahoo stuff that we already built to find eligible companies. Once an eligible company is found, we'll pop over to Quandle and run this program that we're about to do now. And then when we're done with that, we'll actually display it using matplotlib within Python and we'll have our own freaking investing app on our computer. So that'll be pretty awesome once we're done and we'll be using that uh, Python charting stocks uh, tutorial series that I made. Um, so if you haven't seen that you might want to check it out but otherwise we'll kind of hit it a little bit uh, towards the end when we start plugging everything in. So that's pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited for this. I'm so happy to have found this website. Epic website. So Anyway, let's get started with Quandle, and uh, let me show you guys some of the raw 
text that we'll get through Python. So what we're going to do is, and if you need an example of the link, well, I showed you guys how to get the example, but if you don't, if you want to get something other than what I'm going to show you guys here, then you can just go to their website. I mean, they have all, they've got pretty much all of the stats that you could want as a fundamental investor on their site. So um, if you want something else, just go there and kind of work it in. You'll see that it, most of the URL is fairly structured. So um, shouldn't have any issue. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that we're going to need to do is import the stuff that we're going to need. All we're going to really need is import URL lib2. And now we're going to just uh, define our function for uh, grabbing quandle data. So define, and we're going to call it grab quandle. And the only parameter we're really going to have is ticker. Now, uh, here's where we would define some of our variables. If you have an auth token, you might want to define that. But really, uh, what we're going to do is define the end link. And what this is going to be is the last bit to the link. And so here is where your auth token might go. But also, we're going to define the sort order. So if you have an auth token and you want to include it in your um, your request, all you need to do is put the and symbol. So that is how you denote a variable in a URL. So you use the and symbol, so sh shift 7. And the variable name is auth underscore token equals, and then you, you know, whatever the, um, your actual auth token is, usually it's just like a jumbled bunch of text and numbers, so like this or something. It wouldn't have this here, but it'd probably look, you know, something like this. <laughs> and so now every time you use, you put this at the end of one of your requests, it includes your auth token and tells Quandle who you are. And that'll allow you to have over 50 requests. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to include my auth token because I don't want anybody to use my auth token, so I'm just going to leave it out. But I do highly suggest you, you go ahead and get one because it's pretty easy to run into your 50 requests, especially while you're developing. So we'll call that end link. Now we're going to need to try and accept. So try accept exception e print fail the main quandle loop for a reason of and string now within our try loop um, we'll put in let's say let's do net income as an example and what I'm going to do is I'll put the these three variables we're going to do net income revenue and return on capital I'll put all three of these uh, with the variables and everything in the description. That way you don't have to type it out with me. Um, but I'm also going to explain w what's going on. So, so this first one will be this. So it's going to be URL lib 2url open, and then the beginning of the URL is this for net income. So, and then what we're doing here is whatever the ticker symbol is would go here. So if you look at um, at the link itself, like if when we go to um, let me close out of this here, and you hit the download link. If you if you want something else like some custom data, you would hit download here and then click. Well, now it's open for me, but there isn't show API call link here. You would click that, and then you can just copy this and paste it out and see. You know, you, usually the only thing you'll have to change is the ticker symbol. But if you want to pull prices, keep in mind that like. Um, Apple is listed on the NASDAQ, right? So if you want to pull Apple data, it's going to say NASDAQ. But then if you want to pull, like, I don't know, Coca-Cola data or something else, something that's not on the NASDAQ, then you would need to use the different. So, like, that would need to change, which is I'm just going to use uh, Yahoo because we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. So it just makes it easier. But if you if you did want to pull from Quandle, then you probably would just want to use their their module, and that way you can just put the ticker in. You don't have to worry about uh, um, the link, like the specific link. So, anyways, this is where we are. Net income equals that. And so, what we can do now, let's just test where we are. Print uh, net income. Oops, net income. Let's learn to spell here. And now let's call grab quandle and put the ticker in here. We'll say uh, Yahoo, save, and we'll run that. Pull this over. 
So now you can see that we've got the yearly data here from um, Yahoo. So obviously the date and then the uh, income, net income. Now I assure you guys, um, Yahoo did not only earn a thousand dollars last year. <laughs> it's in data is in the mil or yeah, it's in millions of dollars. So two ninety one million and then obviously a billion. So uh, keep that in mind. So that's net income. Um, the other ones that we're going to use are going to be. Let's just make some space. And we're going to do revenue and return on capital. So I'm just going to paste those in here. So again, you can see that the beginning link is pretty much identical here, right? Uh, then you've got ticker, and then you've got the specific thing that you're looking for. So the really only difference between all of these links so far has been the ending ending bit. Um, and then also, you know, ticker if if we're doing different stocks. So you have to throw that in there. And then end link obviously remains the same. Um, so now what we could do is say print net income, and you could even do something like, uh, well actually let's do, I think we'll just separate them now, because uh, then ev eventually what we're actually going to do with this is graph this stuff. So print revenue, print, and then print uh, ROC. Save that, run that, and so here is you know date net income, all this, and you've got date revenues, all this, and then uh, return on capital, all this. So here's a good example: like this data goes back to 2001, this data goes back to 03, this data goes back to 2000. Now, generally, for like at least on this this series, and so for mostly concerned with fundamental investing and. Um, since we have to pick something to focus on, value investing. So really all we care about is like the last five years, maybe 10, but not really. So this really definitely cover at least up to 10 years, like the or the least old data that we're getting is from 2003. So we're still good up to 10 years. So great data that we're getting from here. And just super easy, super quick, um, very lightweight stuff here. So pretty awesome it's already in date format so it's gonna be really easy for us to graph this stuff um, so definitely awesome so anyways that's just the beginning of what I have planned now that we've got uh, Quandle in here we're gonna start adding this to our previously uh, worked on stuff and eventually we're gonna have a pretty cool investing program on our computer so uh, if all you wanted was just to print out the historical data uh, there you go and thanks to well, I can't say the guy's username. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'll show it up on screen. Thanks for pointing us in the direction of Quandle. Definitely a great website, so thanks a lot. And for everyone else, as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.